Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be discussing an OPG of a child exhibiting mixed dentition. In this video, I will show the arrangement of deciduous and permanent teeth in an arch and different um, conditions or anomalies that are present in this case. This video is divided into components. In the first component, I will show you the uh, eruption and shedding dates of both uh, deciduous and permanent teeth. In the second component, I will mark out the shedded or shedding of the deciduous teeth. And in the last one, the position of permanent teeth. Okay, so moving to the first component of this video that is discussion about the eruption and exfoliation dates and also the roots root completion of both primary and permanent dentition will be discussed the graph shown in the video is very important for the estimation of the age, just by looking at the radiograph or the OPG, it is very important to remember or have a rough idea about the eruption and exfoliation dates of both primary and permanent teeth. It is uh, very difficult for everyone to uh, remember the exact uh, age at which the teeth erupt or exfoliate but uh, it is important to remember the ranges in between which the primary and the permanent dentition can erupt or exfoliate okay so here the graph for primary teeth is shown the calcification of both maxillary and mandibular teeth start at the fourth fetal month the first tooth that erupt can be seen is mandib uh, mandibular central incisor that is followed by maxillary central teeth and then the lateral incisors. The time for this eruption to occur ranges from 5 months to 12 months. Similarly, for the canines first and second primary molars, the eruption almost occur at the same time. That is 16 to 20 months, 11 to 18 months and 20 to 30 months respectively. Now coming to the tooth completion. You can see that for central incisor and lateral tooth completion, it occurs at 12 to 24 months. That is followed by the first molar and second molar that completes its formation at 24 to 30 months and 36 months respectively. Formation of the canine completes in between uh, 30 to 39 months. Now comes coming towards the sequence of exfoliation of both maxillary and primary teeth. The exfoliation of mandibular central incisors occur at 6 to 7 years of age and for maxillary central incisors and mandibular lateral incisors, the shedding occurs at the age of 7 to 8 years. That is followed by maxillary lateral incisors that happens at the age of 8 to 9 years. You can see that uh, the shedding of mandibular canines and maxillary first mo uh, molars occur at almost same age that is 9 to 11 years while for the mandibular first molar and second molars also the maxillary canines they shed almost at the same time that is uh, 10 to 13 years. Now we will discuss the eruption of both maxillary and mandibular permanent dentition, its crown and root completion. Every tooth that erupts take other four years for its root to reach complete formation. The first tooth to erupt are the first permanent molars that occurs at 5.5 years to 7 years of age that are followed by the maxillary and mandibular incisors that erupt at the age of about six to nine years. After the eruption of first molars and incisors, mandibular canines can be seen appearing in the mouth. Subsequently, premolars also start appearing in the mouth and 
all this occurs at the age of 9 to 13 years. Both the maxillary and mandibular second molars erupt at the age of 12 to 14 years. Third molars or the wisdom tooth takes too long to up erupt at the age of 17 to 30 years. As in most of the cases they remain impacted or are completely missing. I know it's quite a long and boring lecture. I hope my viewers you are not getting bored. So now we will quickly move to the third component of this video and I will show you the positions of the permanent and primary teeth in the OPG. Here you can see that the root completion of molars and the central incisors, both maxillary and mandibular is complete. Now here you can see the erupting of the second molars. Only the crown area is complete and still they are root deficient now these are the BDRs of primary teeth that includes the lower left E and right C D E these are retained first primary molars which have time to exfoliate now comes the revision stage so this is the BDR of lower left second molar. This is these are retained C and retained lower primary D. This is the BDR of lower right second molar primary second molar. I hope that during the whole session of this video you might have recognize the deficiency in this OPG you might have noticed that it, there is missing lower mandibular first incisor by taking the history the patient was uh, the patient said that he has extracted his lower first central incisor Here you can notice the open apices of the lateral incisors you can notice that the they both have uh, uh, open apices the lower molars, the lower first molars have uh, closed apices. So, can you tell me what's the age of this child? I know that it might be a little difficult, but uh, you can guess and please comment it in a comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.